So what you want to do first after putting on your gimbal is that you want to go to the OM Pro app. You can download this application on Google Play Store. It's available to download. Just go to Google Play Store and um, type OM. You'll find it there. So you can just easily install it. So after installation, then you want to open the application. So first it searches for the gimbal or any gimbal that are around. So when you find the device, then you can select the device you want to connect with. This is my device here. So it's trying to connect to the device right now. Sometimes it might not connect to the device, especially if the mobile phone is far away from the gimbal, the battery of the gimbal is low. So I would check again and be sure. Sometimes it might just be an error. You just need to connect again. So once you're done connecting, you see that the blue, uh, the Bluetooth sign is now green. So that means you're connected to, to a device. And then once you're done, then you can explore the application. The application is quite intuitive. Uh, we can see that there's a part where it shows uh, IX30 tutorial. So you can actually go through that and get a hang of how to use the device. It has a lot of things that you can learn, a lot of things you can you know, get to know about, for example, um, opening the quick start. This can actually even give you an idea of how to use the device. Unfold the gimbal okay, and example. tighten thumb screw. Make sure to unlock three motor buckles. Keep phone mounted in the middle. So it's so easy, even if you don't know how to set up the gimbal, the application comes with all the instructions you need. So you can go through that. If you are using the iSteady X V2 or X2, there are tutorials for both. So you can go through all that. And then they also highlight on creative gimbal modes from you know very from creative people on YouTube. You can also go through all that and learn so much more. So the application in itself helps you to get a hang of the whole um, thing. And then what makes this even interesting is that it gives you suggestions on you know what to take, how to take videos and all that. So you can see that there are different modes here. For example, look at this, do it cause I cause I can. It's you know it's an idea of something to shoot. Then we have ins the inception mode. So if you want to just go into the application studio, way, you can act you can use this gimbal in two ways. You can use it with the application. And then you can use it just basically as a stabilizer with the stock application that comes with your phone. So if you want to use it with the application, you can just, aside all the tutorials and you know all the guides on how to use it, you can just you know just go straight up to the uh, camera on the to the camera app on the app itself. So you click on start. Basically, just looking at the layout of the um, stock camera app that you have here, there are so many things that you can do on this camera you can you know control your zoom your focus manually and um, you can also adjust what kind of video you want to do so um, looking at the left side you can see that there is zoom and there is focus so you can click on whether it's zoom you want to change or focus you want to change then you can use the side button so there is a side button on the gimbal itself that can actually control the zoom and the focus so whichever one you select whether you select the zoom or the focus you can actually you know change your focus you can do uh you can change your focus while shooting on the application which is just crazy this is so crazy so you don't need to you know touch your screen to you know adjust focus and you know stuff like that you can do that on the camera body 
without touching your phone you can also see that you can change it to selfie mode you can also change the video resolution so you can shoot in 4k on this application you can also change your video frame rates from 24 to 30 fps unfortunately there is no 60 fps on this application so you can shoot 4k 1080p 720p then you can do uh, focus tracking so you can do human focus tracking uh, so if there is a face you want it to track it to track that face so for example now let me go back to the selfie so i'm doing face tracking now and i'm moving my face to the left and to the right and it's just tracking my face beautifully so but i move my face so if you put the gimbal down so if you put the gimbal down i mean you can go do something else while the gimbal tracks you beautifully which is a very good thing you can also do object tracking for example um let me go back to the main camera so for the object tracking you can select an object you want to track so if you have an object in front of you and it's in focus you click on the object tracking and then you select the range of what you want to track so for example now i move this phone here i move this phone here i move this phone here it follows all through tracking the object wherever i take the object to which is really really beautiful like this works well but then sometimes it doesn't do all the tracking well for example if i move so far away you know it doesn't follow it up to that point then i bring it back it loses focus so it's not all the time very accurate um, sometimes it loses focus so you have to be aware of that so i'm drawing the focus again so that it can track it so sometimes you just have to move very carefully so that it doesn't lose focus on the object but by and large it does pretty much well so i think the um, version 2 of this i30x um, actually has an improvement it has a um, tracker that comes with the gimbal it actually helps with precise tracking of whatever object or face you want to track so that's an improvement over this uh, i steady x go to the settings you can change the photo size you can change um, the um, layout uh, how you record video if you want to do 16 9 maybe shooting a youtube video 4x3 1 by one instagram and all those kind of stuff so you can change that you can you know put timer you can add grids to help you with um, shooting your video so for example if I select a grid I could select um, normal grid I could select crisscross I could select diagonal whichever one um, I can also change the zoom speed the speed at which it zooms if you select on the professional mode what it just basically brings out is that it brings out the uh, professional features like shutter speed uh, white balance I am um, ISO things that helps that help you have more control over your shot which is really good and then you can change the lens selection back camera um, front camera and back ultra wide camera this doesn't this application doesn't work with the telephoto com camera that comes with the phone it only um, works with the ultra wide the main lens and then the front lens i don't know why it's not uh, it doesn't read that but i guess it's a software thing and so that's that about the settings you could also um, check the device name and all that then there's this feature here where um, if you're taking a photo if, if you're far away from the camera you could actually um, use a hand gesture to start recording and stop recording this helps if you're shooting alone so you can just click it here and then it's on so if you put a hand if you I mean display your hand in front of the camera then it has to shoot so look at this so you see the timer started and then voila you start shooting that's how it works go to the photo you can take pictures with it also um, the features on photo too are similar to what we have on the video part and then there is this moment mode where you can actually use different automated modes of um, shooting video which helps you to get you know very uh, creative shots so there are different modes we have dolly zoom we have um, 
fantastic rotation. We have smart motion, time lapse, um, panoramic video, and I think that's about it. And so that's about it. I'll put links in the description of um, uh, of different uh, other videos you can watch and you know get a full hang of how this um, device works. If you have any questions, you can ask um, in the comment section. I'll put other links to other useful videos on this gimbal and then you can let me know what you think about this gimbal. I'll put links also to in the description of where you can get this gimbal.